What's up friends? My name is Pai. Welcome to Adorama TV and in this video we're talking maternity posing. Now specifically this video is a glimpse into our entire maternity workshop and what I want you guys to kind of take away from this is that this video is essentially foundation posing but for maternity. So we've given you a glimpse into foundation posing in prior Adorama TV videos. So you guys should have an understanding of that. If not, I would jump back and check out those videos because they should be very helpful when it comes to posing your subjects. Without any further ado, let's jump into maternity posing. My name is Pai and I'm one of the founders of Lynn and Jersa Photography and SLRLounge.com. We're teaming up with Adorama to bring you a new series of photography tutorials called Master Your Craft right here on Adorama TV. So let's dive in. It's gonna be short and simple, we're gonna dive in, and I wanna show you guys this lighting setup briefly because it's one that's very easy to do virtually anywhere. All you need is a window as your light source, and we have shears over that window. We've closed down the outside curtains just to create a sort of strip box. And then we flagged off areas that were spilling a little bit of light into the scene. On this side, we have a V-flat that's just adding a little bit of light into the shot. This is something that you guys have seen us do like on location in the wedding series. We do it at clients' homes. It's a very easy and effective way of getting great images. And all you really need is just a simple backdrop and kind of a strip box to get that look. So now you guys know how it's set up. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot from my camera with each of the different kind of settings so you guys can see how the body transforms as we make small adjustments here and there. So let's go ahead and start you out where you're facing directly into that camera, straight forward, flat footed, shoulder width apart. And I'm gonna go ahead and take our baseline shot right here. So I'm at 1 60th of a second, 400 ISO and F1.4. And Yvette, what I'm gonna have you do is actually bring the hands behind the body so I can see the hips. There you go, perfect. Perfect. So now, what we're gonna do is, this is a comfortable pose, is it not? It's just comfortable to stand around like this. It's probably also comfortable to shift your hip to one side, right? So I want you to shift to the side that's most comfortable. Are you an ambi kicker? Can you kick to both sides? Okay, do that one then. And what I'm gonna have you do is bring the knee, so now instead of the feet being apart like this, you're gonna bring them kind of close and you're kicked to this side and now this knee is gonna drop right across. There you go. So yours is opposite because you're going to the opposite side and that's perfect. So we're gonna take the second shot and I'm gonna have you ex like just kind of exaggerate the kick in the hip just a little bit, there you go. And bring the knee across just a little bit more. Perfect, just like that. How are you feeling, you good? Your feet okay? Yeah. Okay, good. So I wanna show you just the difference, so Yvette can see this, between that shot. So this is the first one, this is the second one. Pretty big difference, right? Mm -hmm. So what we've done here is the same thing that we did in foundation posing, which is create the taper point on the dress. So we've kicked the hip to kind of accentuate the hips, we create the taper point on the dress, and we work our way up, and I'm gonna say, keep your lumbar spine straight, like that curve in the lumbar spine. So if, if you're looking at the camera, curve in the lumbar, thoracic and cervical are straightened out. You imagine that string that's pulling you up. And that's the fundamental ground to head kind of pose that we're gonna be doing. Now, as the assistant, this is where you're looking and you're saying, how's the dress, how's everything look? And there are a couple things that I do wanna fix. I wanna open up the dress just a little bit so it has a little more natural kind of feel to it. Yes, I'm on my knees a lot during photo shoots. Perfect. Wonderful. I'm gonna have you just kind of pull up on the sweetheart top just a little bit. Perfect. And we're gonna take our final shot right here. I want you to straighten out and elongate. There you go, imagine that string pulling you up. And this is the last shot that we're gonna do. So we have the fundamentals kind of in. So at this point, I want you guys to see something. If I have Yvette kind of adjust the hips towards the light, or adjust the hips away from the light, you're gonna see something very different in not only the belly itself, but in the way that the hips are curving into the camera. 
Okay, so do that again now that I'm standing right here. So go ahead and adjust to this side. Perfect. Bring that knee across. Perfect. Now from this side, so she's on the light side right now, and from this side, we have this beautiful highlight. She's basically, we're lighting kind of broad lit, right? Because she's facing the light source. We have this beautiful highlight and then the shadow on the other side. What I would do is I'd have her bring that knee across just a little bit more to taper that point even more and we get an accentuated belly. We can do the same thing. Let me go ahead and get that shot actually. I'm gonna have you drop the knee in just a little bit more. There. Let that hip turn just a little bit. Okay, now bring the knee in and across. There you go. I know it feels odd. <laughs> Okay, now go ahead and adjust to the other side. Perfect. Okay, so from this side, we end up essentially putting the light on this side and using the shadow for the other. And both of these angles give us very accentuated bellies compared to the first. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one other thing that I want you guys to pay attention to. The last thing is, we have this tendency in our photographs to move our hips away from the camera. You do that when you want to de-emphasize the hips, right? So Yvette, if you're kind of like, let's keep you in that pose. Are you, is your weight on your, your weight's on your right leg, right? Yes. I want you to shift it forward because depending on your subject, it's gonna look different and it's gonna look better either way. You need to know based on your subject. When you want to emphasize the hips, we want to kick them towards the camera. When we want to de-emphasize the hips or to slim the hips, we want to kick them away from the camera, okay? So it just depends on your specific subject. Do you want to emphasize more or do you want to subtract? Either way, that's your creative call, but there's a lot to be done on that side. So what I'm gonna do is, Yvette, go ahead and turn the body back towards the light real quick on that side that you're comfortable kicking to. Yeah, there you go. So now when you're kicking into the camera right now, I want you to shift now and kick away. Perfect. Okay, so this is what I want everybody else to see. So kick back into me from the other side. Okay, I'm gonna take this shot and I want you to kick now away from me. Perfect. Okay, what you're gonna see here, and this is what I want you all to pay attention to, Kick forward towards the camera again. Notice from this shot, the hip line has not as smooth of an edge to it. And as soon as she kicks away from the camera, kick away from the camera, there. We get a taper point and this smooth curve right along the side of her buttocks, which really emphasizes the shape of her hips. And I want you guys to see this. So look at this. I'm gonna turn this off. So this is forward. This is your away. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it also allows her leg to drop into position on the other side. So we can kind of get this beautiful taper point again on the middle of the dress and it looks fantastic. So those are the differences in shifting the hips. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna rotate away from the light because it's just gonna give us a different look. One's gonna be a little more edgy and dramatic versus the other. So this go, turn the chest towards me a little bit. Fix the sweetheart top again. And on your right side, brush your hair back just a little bit. There you go. Straighten up and stand tall. Okay, bring that right knee in across a little bit more. There. Now go ahead and, and flip to the other hip. There. Perfect, now I want you to rotate a little bit so I see a little more belly. Actually, rotate back to me. I'm gonna show them if I don't rotate you, I don't really see the shape of the belly. Once you start turning, then we start seeing the shape of the belly. Okay. So what I want you guys to see right now, so this is where she's facing straight into the camera and you guys are seeing this as well. This is as soon as she angles a little bit, we see much more of the shape of the belly. Okay, beautiful taper points. This is again, when her hip is not shifted the right direction. So when you guys look at this image, you'll see that the hip isn't shifted the right direction and we don't see the curve. It almost eliminates the curves in the body. Once you shift to the right side, it fixes it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Okay, so keep in mind something very simple. 
when the hips go towards the light, you get a softer look, okay? Because you're, you're lighting with the light, there's less shadow in the shot. When the hips and face are going away from the light, you're getting a little more drama. You're shooting kind of from the short side and there's gonna be more shadows in the scene. So it's really a matter of preference. The other thing I want you to take away from this video is we're using a subject right now, a vet who is very fit as a mother. Like you work out, you exercise, and the hip direction and placement really has less to do with like the form and figure of mom and it has more to do with her body type. For some people, it's gonna look better going into the camera. For some people, it's gonna look better going away from the camera. What I want you to notice is that typically when we go towards, it's to emphasize. Typically when we go away, it's to de-emphasize. And we wanna look at the shape in the body depending on each side that we go to. That's what the takeaway is. Because it doesn't really matter so much your client's shape and figure. We always get the question of like, well, how do I pose for subjects who don't look like models or who are heavier set? It is identical. The rules are identical. Shift the hips to get that curve and sometimes it'll be towards, sometimes it'll be away. Make sure that you have the direction correct so that you get the shape in the belly. So far, we've just basically placed your hands behind your back to remove them from the equation. Let's bring them back in. So what we're gonna do is we can use our hands in a couple different ways. You can go underneath the belly and kind of hold or you can have one hand up and one hand under, okay? You can also have one hand holding the belly and holding someone else's hand if you want to. Not mine, Justin, you know what I mean? Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're bringing one hand in and not only does it visually accentuate because it kind of draws a line with her own arms. It also brings the viewer's attention there because you're actually cradling something. You're adding energy to a shot. And so we're gonna be looking towards that with intention. There's purpose there. So for the viewer, it's like, oh, I know now very clearly that she is pregnant, that this is a maternity photograph because the hands are bringing the viewer's eyes into the belly. So in the past where we wouldn't do like those kind of poses like the, like, we always say it like on an engagement shoot. We're like, this isn't a maternity or prom picture, right? Where everyone's hands are around the bellies. Now it's actually appropriate to do that kind of stuff. So the other things you can do is like there's the, look, I'm not gonna argue whether these things are cliche or whatever. For these clients, it's all new. For us photographers, we've seen it a million times, but doing the heart or doing those kind of things with the belly, I always do some belly interaction on each of my shoots. On my last shoot, the, the, uh, husband, he had a Star Wars figure. So he played Star Wars with the baby inside of, he had a TIE fighter. Okay, so now let's take that shot. So what we're gonna do is, um, Yvette, let's go ahead and, we're just gonna do a couple different versions. So I'm gonna have you adjust towards the light now. There you go. Give me that kick away from the, the, away from the camera. Yep, there you go, perfect. I love the, look at, oh, look at this. She dropped her toe on this side. So dropping your toe elongates the form. So on a side pose, that's a perfect way of showing what it looks like when you flatten out the foot, okay? Of elongating the body and shape of the leg to just simply point the toe. So go back to that point again and you'll see that. Okay. Our light shifted a little bit, but we're good. I want you to bring your left shoulder back towards me just a bit so I can see your left arm a little bit more. There you go, right there. Perfect. And bring the toe back a little bit. Right there. Okay, now I'm gonna just make a couple small tweaks to the dress without falling on my face. I like seeing the toe. It looks nice. Perfect. And now go ahead and bring one arm up and over and then one arm up and under the belly. Beautiful. Perfect, now let's shift directions. So shift to the other side. Perfect. And I wouldn't normally do this, I just want you guys to see what it looks like in the shadows versus away from, or in the light versus away from the light. So roll the right shoulder, left shoulder open just a little bit. There, right there. Perfect. And then bring that left leg back just a little bit. So I'm making these subtle adjustments and now look down to baby. Bring the chin up a little bit so your chin's in the light, but the eyes go down. And actually brush your hair back so it doesn't block the light on your face. The hair on the left side, just brush it all behind you. Chin up a little bit and then eyes down towards baby. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Open the chest a little bit towards me. Now what I want you guys to see is how these subtle adjustments change the way the photograph looks. Now bring the left leg forward. There, versus, let me take that shot, versus back. Go back now, there. So what I want you guys to see is depending on where that leg is positioned, it's such small adjustments. But look at the shape and curve of the hips and the spine when her leg is back here versus come back to right here. Anywhere in between here, that curve is gonna look different in the camera. And that's the important thing to understand. It doesn't matter the shape and figure of your client. You can create a flattering and beautiful portrait showing the best of them, what you see in them, by small and simple tweaks in the body. So as you guys complete this little section, you go onto your shoots, what I want you to remember is this. You're gonna work from your feet all the way up to the head. You're gonna start with the basics of bringing the toes in and the knee across. Then as you get the hips shifted towards one side, now you're gonna change their angle towards the light, away from the light. You're gonna shift as well towards the camera, away from the camera, and you're gonna watch the curve in the body as it adjusts. Then we're gonna have them straighten out, straighten the spine and work their way up to the head. And now you simply incorporate the hands however you'd like, okay? So whether it's interacting with another person or simply interacting with the baby, if the, she has both hands on the baby, it's likely that she's gonna be looking towards the baby. So we wanna bring the eye lines and use that as our final kind of closing touch to draw the viewer's eyes into what it is that we want them to focus on. If everything is about baby, their eyes should also follow suit. Again, it's all the principles in the complete posing workshop. So if you guys need any additional help or guidance on this, go back and reference that entire course because it'll show you the body language nuances and everything for every pose and then simply incorporate all the adjustments that we did here for the nuances of maternity photographs. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd love for you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, leave your comments below. I'd love to know what you guys would like to learn next. And I have tons of incredible photographer peers that are posting tutorials to this channel. So if you guys wanna get notified about upcoming Adorama TV videos, make sure you turn on the notification icon. Otherwise, I'll see y'all back here, same time, same place next week. Peace.